Hello and welcome to Netophone's tutorial on how to set up your trunk. In this tutorial we will be using the free PBX user interface to create a trunk on our test server. I would like to give a moment here for you to click on the link located below in the description section of this video to download the quick reference PDF file that will serve as both a guide and easy access if you would like to copy and paste the content that is covered within this video. With that said, let us begin. For purposes of this tutorial, keep handy since I will reference username, which is the account number assigned by Netophone, secret, which is the PIN number set for your account, a DID number, which is the virtual number assigned to your account by Netophone. So first log into your PBX server and load the free PBX homepage. Click on PBX Administrator. Now a new page should appear. In this page, hover over Connectivity and scroll down and click on Trunks. Now click on Add SIP Trunk. Under General Settings, we will deal with the following fields. Trunk Name. This is the arbitrary name that you will set for this trunk for future reference within the settings layout. So here I'll call this Netphone 1. Outbound Caller ID. This will be the default caller ID for this trunk if you do not change it later within the specific outbound routes. So here I'm going to put in my own number 212-456-2345. Maximum channels. This will limit the amount of simultaneous outbound channels on the account for the trunk. So the value for this field will stay at default amount if left blank. So I will leave this blank. Now let's scroll down to trunk name under outgoing settings. For trunk name, I'm going to call this net to phone out. And for peer details, I'm going to copy and paste the material that is inside the quick reference PDF file. Disallow is equal to all. Username is equal to your account number. Type is equal to peer. Secret is equal to your pin number. Port is equal to 5060. NAT is equal to auto, insecure is equal to invite, host is equal to ipbbx.netophone.com, DTMF mode is equal to RFC 2833, context is equal to from dash trunk, can reinvite is equal to no, and allow is equal to ulaw ampersand G729. As for incoming settings, we're going to call this Netophone in, and we're going to copy and paste the exact same material from the outgoing settings. Now under registration, the register string will have the following syntax. I will show you and explain. Here again, I will copy and paste. At the beginning here, we have the account number, which for our example is again 26528-50325. Then we're going to put in colon, our secret number, which is our PIN number, 1870 at ipbbx.netophone.com forward slash SIP trunking. Then click on Submit Changes. And make sure after you submit changes, you click on Apply Config on the top menu, as this ensures that you save the settings you've just entered on the previous page. Now that we're done here, let us verify that the trunk is actually registered by the server. So go under Reports to Free PBX System Status. I will click on this. And here we see we have our one IP trunk online and registered. Congratulations, you have set up your trunk on the Free PBX server. 